Greetings, this is M squared. We're going to graph some linear inequalities. Keep in mind that instead of um, you know, always having solid lines, sometimes you'll have a dashed line, sometimes you'll have a solid line. It depends on if you have that little equals to under the inequality sign. So these are less than and greater than's. These are less than or equal to's and greater than or equals to's. So the first two I wanted to show you because kids sometimes forget that when you just have a Y, you have a horizontal line. When you just have an X, you have a vertical line. So you have to keep that in mind because there's a slope of this is zero and there's no slope or an undefined slope on this one. So let's graph these two. You want to get Y alone if there's a Y. To get Y alone, you add four to both sides. So you get Y is less than 10. So that's going to be a dashed line. And so I'm going to go up 10 on my Y and I'm going to make a little dash line. And then it says that y is less than 10. When it's just a y or an x, it's pretty obvious which way to shade, because this way is less than 10. Up there is greater than 10. So that's our y is less than 10. Over here, we want to get x alone, so we add 3 to both sides. And when we add 3 to both sides, we get x is greater than or equal to 4. So I go over to 4, and this is going to be a solid line because of that or equal to. So I make my solid line. And then x is greater than or equal to that. That's going to be everything over here. So x is greater than or equal to 4 is this graph. So now on to whether the lines that aren't horizontal or vertical. So we have slanted lines here. And it's easiest to get y alone most of the time. Sometimes you can do the x and y intercept method where you you know, you say x is equal to 0, so the y-intercept is, if you divide both best sides by 6, 2, and then if you cover up that, that's the y is equal to 0, so the x-intercept is 6, and you graph those two and connect the dots. You can do it that way. I like to get y alone and do the slope method, so I'm going to move the 2x to the other side, and then I'm going to divide everything by 6, and I get y is greater than or equal to one third x, I'm sorry, just greater than, plus 2. So on my graph, I'm going to go up 2, and then I'm going to use my slope of negative 1 third. That means I go down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3, or I can go up and left 3, up 1, left 3. It's dashed. And then to decide which way to shade, I always like to pick a point, and I always pick 0, 0 if it's available. So I'm going to test. 0, 0, which means I'm going to go to the original equation and I'm going to put a 0 in for x, so 2 times 0 is 0. I'm going to put a 0 in for y, because y is 0, in my test point. And I'm going to ask myself, the 0 plus 0, which is 0, is that greater than 12? No, it's not. So because I know it's not, I don't shade that way, because this would make it false. I want it to be true, so I shade this way. If I had picked a, another point, like let's say I picked 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, that's on that side of the line. So let's say I tested 3, 2. I would do the same thing. I would put 3 in for x, and I'd get a 6. I'd put 2 in for y, and I'd get a 12. Is 6 plus 12 greater than 12? Yes, it is. So that's why I shade that way. So you can pick any point, but I like to pick a point where at least one of them is 0 to help me you know, just to make it easier. Okay, let's try this one. Here I'm going to get y alone by dividing by 4. And when I do that, I get y is, e is not, e that shouldn't be equals. Let's make it less than, sorry, my mistake. So I divided everything by 4, and I get y is less than 2x minus 4. So over here, I go 1, 2, 3, 4. That's my y-intercept. My slope is 2, so I go up 2 over 1. Solid or dashed? Dashed, because there's no equals there, so I have a dashed line. And then I want to test a point. So again, 0, 0 is not on my line. I can never pick a point on my line, or I'll just get two things that are equal. So I'm going to pick 0, 0. And when I do that, I get 0 is less than 0 minus 16. And 0 is not less than negative 16. 0 is bigger than negative 16. So, I don't shade where 0, 0 is, I would shade the opposite side. And again, you can pick any point on your graph except for the point on the line. And that is how you graph linear inequalities.
good luck with that m squared sign it out